you see how dangerous this can be? Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off dick here. You know what ticks me off? Both sides losing all credibility. Follow me. Hey, I know this first point is stupid in a way, but it's a perfect example of what I want to talk about. I just saw the video of Biden falling while running up the steps to Air Force One. And here's my problem. If president's falling down and tripping and walking weirdly or whatever is news to some news channels, then all presidents falling down has to be on all news channels. Seriously. You have to show it for all if you show it for one or two or only one side or only the other side. You just can't pick and choose who you show stumbling. Not because it's important, but because it's fair. Let's be fair. Otherwise, you lose all credibility. You just do. You ever hear the phrase conspicuous in its absence? Do you know what that means? If not, Google it. Look. I give Biden credit because he tries to skedaddle up the steps of a plane to show everyone that he's not some old guy when everyone knows he's an old guy and he should just take his time. I don't even run up plane stairs. And I know people will say he's a a, a doddering old fool. So he's he's trying to show the people who bring up his age that he's not so old. But then he falls down and and he ruins the whole point of not looking old. And he should just stop running and act his age and people should stop with the age thing so Biden stops running and falling down. Anyway, come on, news organizations. If, if Biden falls down steps and it's caught on camera, then you got to show it if you're going to show anyone else falling. This next one pisses me the fuck off. How many years need to go by before we can accept that someone who does something stupid when they are young can change as they mature and learn and get older? This is yet another fucked up piece of cancel culture. You know how many people did and said stupid things when they were young? All of us! Holy shit, can we please take each circumstance for what it is? Here's an example. If the kid is raised in rural uh, Alabama and taught to hate blacks from birth and calls blacks the N-word in elementary school because that's all he knew and all he was taught as a child. But then he matures and plays football, gets a scholarship, goes to a college in the North and learns and evolves and grows. And then he realizes how horrible racism is and he starts an organization to help minorities and minority communities and he decides to dedicate his life to making change. And then someone learns he called black people the N-word in junior high and there's a scandal and he loses his job. Do you see how dangerous this can be? That poor young lady who was the editor of Teen Vogue got fired for basically the same exact bullshit. When do we forgive? How do we forgive? If if you can't forgive, then you need to burn your Bible because you're full of shit. And lastly, to all the brain surgeons out there calling for Cuomo to resign, help me out here for a minute. Let, Let me explain something. Let's be clear. I don't like Cuomo. I don't like what he did with the nursing homes. I don't like changing the name of the Tappan Zee Bridge. I don't like these accusations from the women who are on his staff. When anyone puts a woman in an uncomfortable position such as the things Cuomo was being accused of, it's wrong. Speaking improperly, improper touching, improper anything is flat out fucking wrong. So here's my question and my problem. If the Democrats and their supporters only point out and call out the Republicans who do this, and if the Republicans and their supporters only point out the Democrats who do this, then you're all fucking scumbag hypocrites, and you're all part of the fucking problem. You have zero credibility, and each side has joined its own fucking cult. If something is wrong, no matter who does it, then where is your anger and your condemnation for person, regardless of their political party? You have to be consistent, both sides. When a woman comes out and says, this guy did this to me, you're either consistent or shut the fuck up. You want resignation based on some someone simply accusing someone of something? That's a whole other rant. But if that's what you want, 
then you got to call it out for anyone, anytime. If you don't, you're just another fucking partisan hack who's completely full of fucking shit. This country is in a vice grip of phony, stupid, biased, delusional fucking jerk-off. Smarten up. If we can't agree that wrong is wrong no matter who does it, and if we can't forgive a situation that calls for forgiveness, then we are fucked. We are all fucked. I call out both sides because I have no side. My side is right and truth and decency and humanity. You got a fucking problem with that? Both sides losing all credibility. That's what fucking ticks me off.